And today's a big day today. Today we are putting the honey in Oak and Honey Farms. We got our bees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take them down to the hive sites and install them. It's going to be a fun day. Here they are. Still in their boxes. All right. Right now they're a little cold, a little hungry, but we're going to load them up in their new home and they're going to be just fine. All right, you got two boxes of bees. You got both of those, or do you need a hand? I got them. Okay. They're not that heavy. All right. Let's go. Here we are at our hive site. It's a little wet today, so we went ahead and set up the canopy uh, just to make sure that it doesn't get too wet inside and don't want any drowned bees. So, all right, let's go ahead and crack the first one and get it going. Okay. All right. So once we crack the top here, underneath is just going to be a feeding can. That's what kept the uh, bees fed while they were in transit. Now each of these boxes has a, about anywhere between eight and 10,000 bees in it. But right now, they're just in a big cluster. They, they don't have a home, Aww. so they're very docile. <laughs> yeah, they're, they have no home, so they have nothing to defend, so. Sure, we don't want to pull the can first? So that's the thing. I know that. But I don't want to have to as soon as you pull the can, it's a ski So you got to pop your sticker and then hold it when you pop. Okay. Uh, she knows a lot more about this than I do. I am simply the labor. Here's our queen in there. Make sure she's alive. Is she moving in there? Everyone's moving. I think that's something. Yep, that's her. Yep, alright. The bigger girl in there is our queen. And she's got a couple attendants. And I think underneath there is the queen. Right, the cork's on this end, and the candy's on... Oh, there's cork on both ends. Oh, these are double corked? Even better. We don't have to worry about a plug. All right, let's set her in. Yeah. How are you doing, hon? In case they, uh... Turn it upside down. So that if, uh... They do pull out the cork, and they're gonna, because they're gonna want to go after that candy. Right. So if the cork is it's halfway out. I'm not gonna mess with it, but if someone dies, oh, they'll fall down. <laughs> exactly. And not block the entrance. Exactly. All right. Alive and moving. That's awesome. Clean in. Now we're gonna put the queen in, and we're gonna put her sideways so they can see her. Now let's push her between the frames. Right. Yep. Just like that. Just like that. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. So yeah. I should have brought the staple. Staple that down so that in case it does fall, she doesn't fall to the ground. Yeah. And we're just going to have to pop that out. That's fine. All right. Now the fun part. There we go. All right. This is going to look rough, but, but it's okay. No, just stop. Knock them down. Down and then and shake. Oh my goodness! The waterfall of bees. And they're already moving down. All right, and then we're just gonna leave this 
propped up against. Near the front of the hive. Near the front. <laughs> I got a buddy. And they'll curl in. Your tongue tickles there. All right. Okay. Push them in a little bit. Because once we put the put the top rack on, you don't want to kill them. There we go. Come on. Go. Go. There you go. Okay. All right, we officially have a beehive. Mm -hmm. All right, you sprayed both boxes with okay. Yes, I did. Yep, got them all prepped. All right. Okay. All right, let's go and this guy. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and cap this guy off. And we'll get the other one ready. And they'll crawl up into the hive. Yeah. <clears throat> Since we have two sites, we're more likely to find our way in. All right. All right. One down. All right. All right. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Yep. Alright, this hive has been prepped as well, correct? Yes. I sprayed all the foundation with a with a one to one sugar syrup and then filled their feeder up with the same one to one solution. Why are the bees all clumpy? They're cold. Because they're cold. Okay. And it's what they do. It's what they do when they don't have a house. They swarm around the queen to protect her. Okay. Because queen is the queen is the hive. Yep. Or... Alright, uh, we need this box taken off. Before we can do that in a second. Right? Okay. This is a much more active box. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a queen. I see her. She's much she bigger. doing good? Yeah, she's walking around. Doing great. All right. Yeah, she's much bigger. Shoot. Shoot. Why are there a few bees in there? They're, they're her attendant bees. Yep. Uh, see, she doesn't feed herself. All she does is lay eggs. Yep. Okay. So she has a circle of young worker bees who are called her attendant bees. And, and it's their job to attend to every need of hers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's set her in. Give her a squeeze. Drop right. it down a second. There we go. Alright, just squeeze. Vincent? Yeah. Uh, get the Stay stapler. That's alright. Here, come here. You did good. Um, wait. Um, Make sure it's there. It's back there. Pop it in. Alright. There we go. Queen is secured. Alright. She's in. Give her a good squeeze. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Right. Good squeeze. Oh. And. Ready? Nope. Give him a rack. <laughs> That's so many unhappies. Give us pour out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to yep. pour them over the queen. The waterfall of bees. <laughs> a lot of bees. That is a lot of bees. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. Look at the size of that drone. These are bigger, I think. The drones are larger? Yeah, yeah see the giant eyes oh. and the big bodies? Those are drones. They mm -hmm. do not have stingers. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to grab you because you're right in the middle of a bunch of workers. Yeah, let's, uh, let's let them get active before we start picking out. They will. Yeah, they're they're they going to land everywhere. I mean, look. Yeah, I mean. I got to be. I got to be. <laughs> We got bees. We got a lot of bees. All right, let's get our other box. All right.
They'll figure it out. Yeah, but I'm trying to get them in there so they don't get smooshed. Yeah, I don't want to smoosh any bees. There aren't very as many as you see. That's, there aren't. There actually aren't very many. Yeah, there's only like. That's not enough for a few thousand. When there should be like a hundred thousand. No, there's supposed to be. Oh, like, anywhere between oh, forty and fifty. Oh no. Crushed a bee. Oh well. Oh god, one's inside my sleeve. That's why I do that. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well now I'm uh, having a mild panic moment. Alright, let's uh, get the lid on. <laughs> oh, sticks. Hey there, lady. That's why you should always listen to your wife. These are wrist protectors. That way oh, you don't hi. get overly friendly bees. Hello, bee. Good boy, bee. Might as well brush that one off the corner. Slide back. Slide back. All right. We're with our bees. No, uh, in about three days or so, we're gonna come back through, and or you, you're gonna come back through. Yep, three days, come back through, uh, see if they've accepted the queen. And the way you can tell is if they're trying to kill her through the cage, they haven't accepted her. If they're feeding her through the cage, then they like her. Yeah, little tongues they stick <laughs> through. And if they're passing food along, then you know they've accepted her, and you can pop the cork and let her out. If not, then you just say, okay, see you tomorrow. Well, give it another day. <laughs> and they can go like what up to seven days Ish. or so. That little piece of candy in there will uh, will feed feed them for for at least a week. Yeah. So hopefully by then they'll have accepted her. Yep.